And now the details. A former Bucks County babysitter is now in prison after 11 month old Victoria Watson died while in her care nearly three years ago. Tonight, the infant's heartbroken parents want to help other parents avoid a similar scenario like the one that claimed the life of their daughter. Action News reporter Maggie Kent is live now in Doylestown with the full story. Maggie. Sarah, Victoria Watson was just 22 days away from her first birthday when she was placed in her car seat improperly by her babysitter and left there for two hours without being monitored. Unfortunately, she did not wake back up and now her parents are looking to educate other parents and caregivers about car seat and sleep safety. And they're also focusing on sentencing guidelines and situations like this one. The Watson family is missing a piece. There are signs of her everywhere around the house. Little ladybugs representing a baby girl no longer here. And she just made you feel like you were at peace and just the center of, of the world. The world came crashing in on the Watsons on August 27th, 2019. 11 month old Victoria Watson was in the care of her babysitter, Lauren Langreve, when she was placed in the car seat to sleep set on the dining room table and left for hours unattended. Prosecutors say the babysitter went outside by the pool. Michael Watson got the call that day. His daughter wouldn't wake up. She had slid down and um, the buck buckle had caught the base of her neck. Victoria died of asphyxiation. The top buckle of her car seat was secure, but the bottom was never attached. The car seat at the wrong angle without being placed in the base. Landgrave was sentenced to one to two years in prison for involuntary manslaughter, endangering the welfare of a child and other charges. Now Victoria's parents are fighting to change sentencing guidelines. For like involuntary manslaughter, for example, the, the range is nine to 16 months. They want to better educate parents and caregivers on car seat safety and pressure manufacturers to change designs to ensure this can't happen again. You can do it the wrong way and you should not be allowed to do it the wrong way. We obviously had so many hopes and, and dreams for Victoria and, and the woman that we you know, believe she would have become. Now their hope is her story will prevent another family's heartbreak. You should not place a car seat on a flat surface like the floor or a table without being in its proper base. It changes the angle and creates an unsafe situation. As for Victoria's parents, they say their advocacy work now begins and they want it to begin in hospital maternity wards to talk to brand new parents about these safety issues. We're live in Doylestown tonight. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Okay, Maggie, thank you.